Right. Little GPS module sits down there on four tiny screws, but it's failed. Now, I only noticed that it failed because although the quad worked perfectly well in every way, the one thing that didn't work was follow me mode. There's the quad there. So I got this cheap module out of eBay. Let's have a look. Let's bring it up on the screen. There it is. I'm trying to get rid of that white spot if I can. Glaring. Look at that white spot. There you go. There it is. I got that for it. And here's the diagram. Now, I was able to trace through negative from there using the voltmeter. You basically put a clip on negative. You put a clip on negative with the voltmeter. And that runs to there. And then you take the prod and you find a negative on there. And when you get the lowest resistance, if you came through at about four ohms, that's your negative. I did the same for the positive. I switched on the on the transmitter, the controller, and I took a battery out. So positive was now connected through to the connector. I f and that's how I found positive. I then turned it on, and two of those pins had volts on. One was the positive, and the other would be the transmit pin. So it's obviously transmitting on one of the pins. Now, obviously, the transmit at this end which was the top pin has to go to the receive at this end and the transmit from this end has to go to the receive at this end so i had the transmit pin the negative the positive so there was the only one left was receive so that just went to the only available leftover pin soldered it all up because on this uh plus volts is at the top and minus volts ground is at the bottom is on this plus volts is there and uh, ground is right next to it so essentially this bit of wiring here is uh this wiring here and you see uh plus volts plus volts uh ground and whatever whatever this is a lead i had the actual hub sound lead is that one and uh So, uh, funny enough, the way it plugs in, I think actually uh, it's got the, uh, yeah, it has the, no, don't forget it, let's pull it out. Now, if I plug that in. That's the lead that came with it. And in fact, you can see the plus volts is actually red on this lead. You probably won't have one of these leads unless you buy one off eBay or get one with the, uh, with the uh, module. So I used one I had, but there's the original lead that came out, came with the controller that was plugged into uh, this. And uh, yeah, positive is actually labeled. So uh, there it goes. When the module failed, I won't bother turning the quad on, so all you'll see is a transmitter. But because I'd never used it before, I didn't realize I was missing some data. Let me uh, get the battery back in. These controllers eat batteries. So what most people do is they have another battery a rechargeable which uh, in my case is actually stuck on the back of the uh, back of the controller. So it's convenient for me to use these just for testing. But put that in and
with the module failed and the quad switched off what you get is that and with the quad plugged in you get the quad gps coordinates along the bottom there but nothing for the uh, transmitter Plugged in the new module. The first thing I noticed, of course, the light has come on. So, uh, in fact, what I actually did, well, I got plus and ground connected first, checked that the light came on, and then with the light on, uh, rechecked uh, which one was transmitting. I there was a voltage on which went to the re RX receiver on this, and uh, because obviously that's receiving what that's transmitting. So now, if we turn it over, and I'll try not to touch anything. You see that layer of yellow writing has come up. That's the coordinates for the uh, coordinates for the uh, transmitter. But because we're indoors, it's not actually receiving anything. We'll have to go outside for those to come up. And uh, you see the, the the module is now talking to the transmitter. You've got those numbers there. And uh, incidentally. The quad has a similar module in it, and if you've got a scrap one, the module in the quad will make the transmitter work. Because I did actually take that apart and plug that into the transmitter, the GPS module and that into the transmitter, and that did come up. So if you've got a spare wrecked one of these, the GPS module will work in this. But anyway, there you have it. And uh, yeah, quite chuffed about that. Job done.